Hi, it's Ernie from Ernest Aquatics, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the API Freshwater Master Test Kit. So with this kit, when you open it up, I'll show you what it comes with. It comes with here, it's your Freshwater Master Kit instructions. I recommend reading this, it gives you detailed instructions on why you're testing for the water and how to properly test. We also have this freshwater little grid, we'll be going over this shortly, it tells you what's in your water. And then we got our test tubes. Now it normally comes with four, but one of mine are broken. And then you got all your solutions, and we'll go over each one and how we use them. So to start off with, we're going to be testing our pH levels. Now there's two solutions that come for this. There's the pH, and then there's the high range pH. So today in this example, we're going to be testing our pH. We're not going to be doing the high range. If you were going to test your high range pH, you'd have to use five drops of this liquid. But today, for this one, we'll be using three drops. So this step applies for all the testing we're going to be doing. With the vial it gives you, it has a line, and we're going to fill the water up from our tank right to this line. So what I personally do is, I take a little vial, doesn't come with the kit, you could dip it in and try to get your water, but it's really hard to get it to the right line. So I use a vial, I recommend it, and we're going to put the water up to that line. Now we'll go back to the table. So now that we've got our water, we're going to remove the cap off the pH test solution and add three drops. One, two, three. Put our cap back on the test tube and give it a couple shakes. Now we'll test the color of the water with the chart I mentioned earlier. Now you'll see the chart has different, different headings, so we're testing the pH. So as you can see from matching it to the pH chart, my color is a dark blue. So I could have even gotten away with doing the high range test just because I am on the bottom of the pH chart which is 7.6 so I would have a higher range pH in my tank. So next we're testing for ammonia and for the ammonia we're going to need two different bottles. We're going to need the ammonia 1 bottle and 2 bottle. To start we've got our water in our vial there. We're going to start with the first bottle and we're going to do 8 drops. Then we'll take the second bottle and do the same thing, eight drops. Then we'll put the cap back on and we'll shake it really good for about five seconds. Now for this test, unlike our pH, we have to wait five minutes to get the right color results. So it's been five minutes and as you can see, we have no ammonia in the tank as it matches up with the color yellow. So next we're going to test our nitrite levels with our water in the valve. We'll open this up and we'll put five drops in of this solution. One, two, three, four, five. Put the cap back on and give it a shake for about five seconds. And like the ammonia, we'll have to wait five minutes to get the correct results. So it's been five minutes and as you can see, our nitrite matches with the blue. So we have no nitrite in our water. Finally, we're going to test our nitrite levels. So we have two different solutions we're going to be using. Nitrate bottle 1 and nitrate bottle 2. So to start, we're going to take the first bottle and into our test water, we're going to drop 10 drops. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now we're going to put the cap on, give it a little shake, remove the cap again. Now before we put the bottle 2 in, you have to shake it for 30 seconds. Now the reason you're shaking it for 30 seconds is because it can affect the accuracy of your test results if you don't. So after shaking, we're going to put 10 drops in. Put the cap back on and shake this for another 30 seconds. Now we wait 5 minutes for this test result. So it's been 5 minutes and our nitrate's ready and as you can see it's kind of in between 0 ppm and 5 ppm so it's probably around 2 ppm that happens sometimes so that's pretty good we don't have too much nitrate in the water now for example if you were down at the very bottom or any of these bottom three levels I'd definitely be doing a water change so overall we had great water quality in the tank I've never had any issues with this kit the thing I really like about it is that you get a lot of uses I've tested my water so many times and the bottles are still half full at least. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you have any further questions about how to use this kit, please leave a comment in the comments below and I'll try to get back to everybody. And if you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you very much. Bye.